So I'm gonna say right there, I'm holding shift and I'm gonna select all of them and, and there they are. So I'm gonna keep this other stuff cause I might use that for some other thing. I don't think I'm gonna need these ones. So I'm just gonna add these just to clean them out here. So let's go ahead and then I'm just gonna accept all of that and pull that in to, to the system. So then if I go into my book, my balance sheet and go into my checking account, we have a positive number now, woohoo. And so now we've got all these items that are recorded on the deposit side that are in the website income. If I go into any of those, it doesn't take me back to the bank feed screen, but rather to a deposit form, the form typically used for an increase to uh, the checking account. Now notice the checking account is a filterable form because there's a lot of transactions. So if I just wanna see the deposits, I could go in here and I can customize and filter the transactions by transaction type, let's say. And let's say we just want the increases, which are the deposits and run that and boom. So now we've got our Stripe deposits in there. And then the other side, if I go back was on the income statement. So in the income statement, let's run it to refresh it. It's gonna be, now we've got this website income, just a generic kind of income account that we're gonna put everything from Stripe that goes into and boom. So it pulls in all that stuff and everything that's going in there is with a deposit. Now, again, remember in a full service accounting system, anything that increases an income account is usually gonna be an invoice type of form or a sales receipt type of form, accrual, invoice, sales, cash-based method. We're using a deposit. So again, that's fine because that's the method we're using, but it's not really what the system is kind of designed to do. So we're losing a little bit of added detail uh, by doing that because I can't run like a sub ledger by customer or by, or by item. But I did add the customer as just Stripe income. So if I went to the tab, the first tab, for example, and I go into my Hamburgy and I go down to the sales, then, and then I go into my customers. Now I've got my Stripe items down below. So I could like see the detail uh, in that way, or at least I have my customer that has been added. So again, it's not, notice there's no detail in it because the deposit forms are not usually the form that you use to record uh, the customer information. Usually it's gonna be an invoice and then a receive payment form, right? So it's, so you, you get to track the customers, but it's not giving you the same kind of detail that you would have if you use the full service, uh, you know, system for the, for the, for the cycle of the sales cycle. Spit it out. Okay, if you're in the other view, the get paid and paid view, it would be in get paid and paid. That's where your customers are at. That's what I'm trying to say. So there is that. 